Hi, welcome back to my blog, Edis English Literature. I am Ardhan Dude. Today, we are going to read Joseph Conrad's beautiful short story, The Lagoon. Joseph Conrad, as you all know, is a fantastic writer. He is that kind of writer who has left their native language and chosen the burden of English as a colonial language. But in his own word, Conrad says, if he has not uttered his voices through English, he might have failed as a writer. So such is the case of the many of the writers who has chosen their colonial writing style of English as their voice of saying. Conrad's writing is at once a disillusionment, at once romantic, at once appealing, at once a detached romantic idealism. He does not reveal the characters in an instant so, as a surprise, he exhibits those characters in a flash, in a sudden outburst of emotions or sudden outburst of some arresting incidents, he exhibits the very essence of that very person. His heart of the darkness is such a kind of illuminary journey of that person's heart. It is going through the basins of Congo as we are reading through or entering into the heart of one's darkness, the mind. So in all of his characters, in all of his designing aspects of telling the story, he exhibits the person, he exhibits the characters, he exhibits the narrations, he exhibits the very narrative persona. He exhibits the very persons or he exhibits the very essence of human life in, in very pictorial manner. And a certain kind of emotional, certain kind of psychological, a certain kind of telling the story in a flash or rather in sudden outburst of some of the incidents or some of the motive incidents he has exhibited the telling stories of his characters. And his lagoon, the short story, is at once vivid. And his lagoon is itself a journey, an isolated journey into the heart of that very person who is known as Arsad. Now, as the story is known from a white span point of view, so the Arsad's mind or exhibition of the Arsad's very psyche is being revealed through white man. How much it is perfect a reading or how it is being studied is uh, the another thing. So the character of Arsad is in focus but how to understand Arsad's character? There is one way of bisecting the very aspects of Arsad's likes, dislikes, his happenings, his past lives but all is possible only by direct references of the story. But rather we are getting the third filter of the story. The first filter is the author's own vision this vision is obviously the white man's perspective that he sees and another is the vision of the Arsad's own understanding of his own life. So the complicated life of Arsad or the story life of Arsad has its multifaceted meaning and that is the very math of this kind of story. Yeah. Let's concentrate the very vivid points in Lagoon. I will partly quote few of the lines and obviously I will tell the basic points of this story. Before we analyze the story, let's concentrate the storyline in simple few lines. Joseph Conrad's Lagoon concentrates on a single character, Arsad. Arsad is at present living in a lagoon, a secluded island part, just a stagnant lake. The white man's perspective or the white man who is just telling us the story is passing through a sea voyage and enters into the lagoon and with his eye we read the story of Arsat. As he enters into the Arsat's cottage just at the bank of the lagoon, Arsat instantly begs him for some medicine and in a flashback Arsat tells us the story why he needs such medicine. The medicine he is begging for his ailing wife, Damily. And 
the entire story is how Arsad with his brother has fought a great battle to get this Damlin from Inchimida the king. In Inchimida's kingdom, Damlin had been a beautiful page and in one night as he fell in love, Arsad fell in love, he fled with Damlin and in that darkness the king's army followed and there had been a great fight and in that fight the brother and Arsat was fighting what? and told him uh, to flee with Damlin and live happily uh, oh. whether to help his brother or to flee with Damlin he took the second way he took the path of fleeing with Damlin even when his brother was begging for help and crying and falling he never pulled him back and he marched forward to Damlin to escape the route of death and he thought that he would live or lead a life where death would never haunt him. So there is a kind of pathos or pain or guilt, a sense of guilt has been paining throughout the years and at this decisive moment when Arsat's wife is at the deathbed. He is living in a secluded part in a part of lagoon which is often thought as being visited by ghosts and Arsad is himself taken as a ghost by all those Molloy friends. Now Arsad's disillusionment is there complete when Damlin ultimately dies and he sees the world and that uh, the remorse, same remorse, that cycle he was passing through a uh, guilt, remorse, the entire agony path that he is passing through, he has, he has gained a final knowledge that the darkness that is hidden in his heart is the very betrayal that he has done with his brother and that betrayal has its reciprocal punishment in the death of Arsat's wife Daphne. And the entire story uh, ends in an open ending note where Arsat is still haunting after peace as we as a reader also read through our mind if Arsat is lurking anywhere in our heart. Simplest to simple the meaning is that we the persons always pass through such guilt or sense of remorse and all such vaulted emotions and those emotions haunt us and that is the agony of living the life. So Conrad's short story is in fact brilliant one and twist to the short story as it states that the story should have not ended even though lines of the story is ended it resounds still in our heart and we questions what next and that is the very mark of the story. The storyline of the lagoon is about a white man traveling through a Malaysian or Indonesian rainforest and his chance meeting with his Molloy friend Arsat. The white man upon arriving Arsat cottage finds Arsat distraught for his lover is dying. Arsat tells the distant and rather silent white man his story of his past and that retelling of the story is the very essence or the very storyline of this lagoon. As we are reading through the story gradually we understand the very character and his situations and the essence of lagoons, the essence of Arsat's life is parallel. As lagoon is stagnant water part, similarly Arsat's life is like that of circulating water part that is detached from mainland. The title of this story, The Lagoon, alludes to the confined ways of life caught up in the history of its own past. 
the description of the natural surroundings, the emphasis on the stillness prevailing in the natural world appropriately states the immobility of Arshad caught up in illusion. Just like the waves of the lagoon, which has been estranged from the sea, time has got locked up in the guild same cycle and has stopped running for Arsat. And that reading of the Arsat's life is the very essence of the story, the lagoon. Conrad tells the story in omniscient third person point of view that I have already told you, enabling the narrator to reveal the thoughts of the characters. Midway through the story, the omniscient narrator presents lengthy quotations in which Arsat tells his past. Is it possible? No. But that is artistically possible to make a vivid journey of Arsat's mind. Arsat's account is of course in first person point of view, but it is told in third person point of view. Here is shifting from the one narrator to another, which is also a favorite technique that you will find in Scott's many of the writing, particularly in Heart of Darkness. Lagoon is full of contrast symbols and the use of dark and light, black, white, sunrise, sunset, water and fire, possibly the most important movement and stillness. These all examples are the symbol of movement and stillness is so vivid. In all of these symbols, the movement and the stillness imagery that are so vivid in this story that uh, in the beginning Arsat's clearing is still, for example, nothing moves. Yet everything outside the clearing moves. The boat is moving, the, the other boatmen are moving, the oars are moving, there is circulating movement of water at the lagoon. And in the end of the story, the motion finally enters in Arsat's clearing. In Arsat's home, there has been total immobility initially because there was dying wife there. But when ultimately his wife dies, there is the movement, the movement of tears, the movement of sorrows and pains. This symbolizes firstly Arsat stagnation and secondly his troublous emotions. So all this passage, if you read minutely, there are full of contrasting imageries that are very attractive in the story The Lagoon. What do I care who died? I wanted peace in my own heart. That the last words that Asat are saying. What does it signify to us and signify to him also? In fact, man does not contemplate the cruelty of life when blinded by youth and courage. Arsat too has been veiled by the illusion that love is worth fighting and sacrificing for. Arsat, like all men, clung to the illusions of utopia and a country where death is never coming, death will cling to anybody. And he fled with his beloved. But as Damlin is dying, later finds the guilt of his own. Later he finds of his own guilt the betrayal. He betrayed the Raja and fled with his brother who, whom he left for Damlin. The brother had been fighting and with the fighting he died. The moment he might have helped his brother, he leapt from the scene and fled with them. And wished to live such a life which will lead him in an insight into the heart of man. Arsad thus begs peace of mind and his own philosophy or his own guilt philosophy of betrayal has struck him such 
that he is at no peace now and as his own beloved for whom he has betrayed the world is dying he has learned the truest philosophy of life that death is imminent it cannot be denied and another the remorse and the feeling of guilt that he has done with his brother and with the raja arshad finds himself caught up in a guilt same guilt cycle in which the thought of the past guilt produces same which in turn produces guilt in a cyclic process and gives birth to a complex in a guilty person's mind perhaps he looks forward jamlin's death as a kind of way to release from that cycle for with her death he loses the thing for which he had betrayed his brother and feels punished so these are the philosophic lesson that might have arsad gone through in the last line it says he stood lonely in the searching sunshine and he looked beyond the great light of a cloudless day into the darkness of a world of illusions the last line arshad has narrated the story of how he prioritized his love over responding to his brother's cries for help the remorse and guilt of not helping his brother has never left arshad throughout his lifetime but now with the death of his love death of his wife his life has become hollow and filled only with remorse guilt and loneliness so even though the scene at the end of the short story is of the bright morning without any cloud in the sky the world looks dark for arshad as he sees no hope and obviously no happiness thus it is quite true to tell the whole story a story of disillusionment cornet's lagoon is a description of a tale of human suffering in a void situation of loveless and betrayed world arshad the protagonist oscillates and vacillates of the two extreme ends of love to mother and love to his beloved he has forsaken the call of mother's last lamentable cry to quench the thirst the love of damn so he left his brother and hung on with his beloved his wife so in the conclusion when arshad sees his wife is dying he finds himself in a fuck situation of disillusionment that nothing is permanent nothing is perpetual and the remorse and the pain for betraying his brother strikes him hard we can tell lagoon a kind of a short story which has many of its qualities exhibited love courage guilt death a kind of adventure it is a adventure still and there is illusionary passions the tale of arshad's elopement with damlin by the assistance of his brother is a pure romance rarely paralleled in real life more akin to fantasy through a driving zeal of love arshad and his brother had braved the mighty inchimida fury the king's fury they escaped denying the ruler's sword at night although arshad and his beloved escaped arshad brother died in en route fighting those soldiers his death has been kind of a gallant death in protecting love of his brother arshad's living learning realizing is the full canvas of the story the lagoon here is passions here is a guilt here is remorse a kind of sudden kind of realism is here adventurism romanticism is here 
and it tells simply the human passion that is solitude futility and obviously the world of illusion and rather this illusionment as we cannot miss the end lines the significance of that morning star that eagle flying at the very end of the story when damn dies morning light begins to drive out the darkness of the forest signifying a change not only in the natural phenomena but also in our soul's mind an eagle soars heavenward symbolizing the rising soul of damn so these are symbolic statement which signifies the story lines into its another plank of understanding the entire story if you can read the darkness and the light imagery struck us most vividly darkness represents ignorance denial whereas light represents enlightenment and truth the darkness that we find in this story that is akin to symbolic or the darkness in our ah. heart his maze of illusions his oscillation and vacillation his love for brother his love for his beloved and light obviously symbolizes the wall that our soul left behind for his forest retreat it can also be signified as a change of realization in our soul it is his inside knowledge of life and death there is arsat in every man's heart we are obviously can take dilemma of arsat as ours each and every moment we pass through all those dilemmas and fight with those emotions hardly concentrate the rights or wrongs you have liked this brief discussion on conrad story the lagoon we can get in conrad's other stories which are also brilliant but this lagoon is the past lagoon has been past few of these short stories that has gained him a success so this story is also our uh, interest as it is quite uh, brilliant in its exuberance as well as simplest in its explanation or step for turning up this particular short story and if you have any kind of question that asks me pop up any question i will try my best to answer